everybody's having a wonderful day. Um, we are live on both Facebook and YouTube, so when you come on, please tell us hello. Tell us how you're doing today and tell us where you're from. We love to know that. So, um, Miss Victoria is here with me, um, so she's going to read the comments on both Facebook and YouTube. So, please ask questions as we go along. We would love to talk to you, so ask questions. Um, she can um, read any of those questions back to us. Um, so today, we are working with a couple of thrifted containers. Um, if you've watched me any amount of time, you know I love a neat container. I went to a yard sale and I picked up these co two containers for $4. So they were $2 a piece, and they kind of look like branches. Um, they're actually, it's all um, plastic and metal, um, but they're really cool um, containers. So we are gonna make two different arrangements in these containers. Um, the first one, I have started out with adding a little bit of moss and some rocks to the bottom. So I ran to the Dollar Tree and I picked up um, some sheet moss and it's really messy. So if you pick up sheet moss from the Dollar Tree, just know that you need to open it up in a place that's easy to clean up because it is oh so messy. And then I got some um, river rocks, they're just stones, decorative stones, they're black in color um, so they don't show up real, really good which was really the whole point. Um, but the reason I used the stones was because I needed some weight down here at the bottom of this container. I was afraid if I got it too top heavy um, that it would topple. And so that was important that we weighted our container. Now for this arrangement, we are going to make somewhat of a topiary. So I'm going to use a piece of green floral foam and I am going to wrap it with Spanish moss. Again, another messy material, um, but it will cover our mechanics really well. I'm gonna put those rocks and that moss in the drawer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this moss, I'm kind of spreading it out. I'm gonna lay my foam right into that moss, and then I'm just basically wrapping the foam with the Spanish moss, just like that, okay? So I just kind of wrapped it all the way around. See you later, Jason. Um, so I wrapped it all the way around. Now, let me show you real quick. If you need that moss to stay in place, we're gonna make, this is just a small um, piece of floral wire that we cut about an inch and a half, two inches. I'm gonna make a little hairpin with that, um, with that wire. And I'm just pressing it right in to that foam. And what that's doing is just holding that moss into place. Um, on YouTube, Chaz Meyer says, Aloha from Hawaii. Hello, friend. Thank you for being here. And Miss Shelly says, happy to catch you live. Yay, Shelly, I'm glad you're here. Okay, so that foam, we just cut to the top, to the size of the um, top of this container. Um, now you have to be careful with those little stones, they're trying to fall out. Um, but this is really something fun that you could do for any, for your table. Um, it's not something that I would deliver necessarily. Um, but if you don't want those stones to fall out, you can always take some of that, um, wrapped wire, like, um, bind wire from Oasis and you could come around that. I'm not going to do that today, but you absolutely could to keep that in that container. Um, Cam Lee Aldridge says, yay, I have some entertainment while I'm at a hospital. Thank oh you my so goodness. Much for doing I hope that y'all are okay. Okay, so what I did for this, because I wanted it to be very natural, I went outside and I cut some dried hydrangeas. Now these are very brown. These came off of our bushes here at the flower shop. They are oak leaf hydrangeas. They are very rustic, okay? So let me show you what I'm going to do. So this is called a pick machine. It is a metal pick machine. And what you do is it has little metal picks right inside here. And I'm gonna take these blooms, so you can see they're just, they're just dried hydrangea blooms. 
I'm going to lay it right into that pick machine. The pick has already been loaded. And I am going to bend those that pick down. And I actually did two of them. But it's got a little pick, a little metal pick on the bottom. Um, I've already picked all of those in the, in the basket. But I wanted to show you how to pick each of these hydrangeas. So you load the machine. I'm going to lay that stem right there, right down into that pick. And it has like little, um, little metal pieces so it holds the, it just grips onto the stem. And then you can press that pick right down into the foam. Now you have to be careful with metal picks. Guys, they will bite you. They will cut. So always be careful when using a pick machine. But this way, you use a pick machine. I like to use one, especially when using um, dried materials. Because when you go to put um, the stems of that dried material down into the foam, it easily breaks. So that's the reason I decided to use the pick machine. And I cut lots of these hydrangeas because I wasn't sure how many it was going to take. And again, they're very rustic, and you might not like this rustic look. If you don't, you can absolutely dry some of your limelight hydrangeas, and they don't have to be anywhere close to this brown. But I really liked that this kind of looked woodsy, and I thought it would be fun for a topiary. Um, Cam says, my brother is extremely sick. Oh, Cam, we will certainly pray for your brother. We certainly will. I am so sorry to hear that. Valerie McDonald says, Hi, Monty. I'm glad to see you again. Yesterday was my 58th birthday. Happy birthday to you, friend. Happy birthday. I hope you had a wonderful day. All right. I've just got a few more little stems. Now, if you don't have a pick machine, and I'm sure most of you at home do, you can absolutely take these and place them onto a little wooden pick. You can take them onto a wooden pick. That's going to do the same thing. But if you want to purchase a pick machine, you can order them on Amazon or you can get them from Hobby Lobby. You can get a pick machine. So I'm gonna set this on the floor and I'm gonna show you what I my plans are for all of these hydrangeas. So I put my little piece of foam right here on top. So I'm just gonna take these hydrangeas and I'm gonna push them right into this foam. Now my goal is to make it look somewhat like a topiary. Kyle Fletcher says, hey, how are you? Hello friend, we are good. Thank you for all those pretty pictures you sent us, Kyle. So what I'm doing is just taking each of these blooms and I am just pressing them right into this foam. Now, you can absolutely do this with anything. It does not have to be dried material. It can be, um, it can be artificial. If you had fresh foam, you can absolutely do um, fresh material. You don't have, you know, it's completely up to you. You can do the same style with just about any types of materials. Cam Lee Aldridge says, thank you so much, Miss Moni. It's great to have some godly people in the world. Oh, look at that. Look at that big bloom. Callie and I were looking at these containers and we were trying to figure out exactly what we might do with them. And I said, oh, I see those hydrangeas outside. So I went outside in the bushes and I picked the hydrangeas and I thought, I think this would be a fun way to use these dried hydrangeas and this neat container. Ms. Sheila Niven says, this pick machine brings back so many memories of helping in a flower shop over 40 years ago. Ooh, and it will bite you, Ms. <laughs> Sheila. <laughs> she says, I only took orders, but my side job was the pick machine. Was the pick machine, yes. You know, I don't use the pick machine nearly as much as I did years ago when I worked at a flower shop. Um, we used to have to pick every single piece of um, artificial blooms to go into 
um, funeral work. And so now I use the glue gun or the glue um, pan. And so it's so much easier. <laughs> that was a lot of work. So I'm just taking all of these blooms and basically making a topiary shape on top of this container. And again, all these blooms I picked out of the arts. And let me say that if you don't like them, this natural brown color, you can absolutely pop them with paint. Um, they would take paint very easily. Okay, so there's our hydrangeas. Okay, there's our hydrangeas in our foam. And they shed, y'all, so be careful. If you're doing this, do it outside because it won't make nearly a mess outside. Okay, the next thing I thought we would do is add a little bit of a lighter color. So I thought we would use a little bit of this pompous grass. So this is not grass, it's the plume, the plume from the pompous grass. So what I thought we would do is instead of sticking this up into the arrangement, which you absolutely could, but I want you to, I want these two arrangements to um, blend really well. So I wanted one not to be as tall as the other. Um, but the plumes coming out the top would be lovely. So if you want to do that, you absolutely can. But I thought just to add this color into these hydrangeas, I'm just going to break that plume into small pieces and just tuck it right into those hydrangeas. This stem is pretty sturdy, so it will stick right into that foam. Um, Ellen Cook on YouTube says, I missed the first couple of minutes. Where did you find the cool twig container? They came from a yard sale <laughs> for $2. And so, um, she said that she had had them on her buffet for a long period of time, and she was just tired of them, and I thought, because I'm gonna use them in a video. <laughs> she was so excited. Um, so I don't know if y'all remember several months back, we did the pompous plumes that were painted red for a red carpet event for a care home. Well, my friend Tamara is, um, she is the director of that care home and these were her containers. And so, I just happened to see me go to her yard sale and I picked up these fun containers. So I said, watch the videos and I will be using those containers. Okay, so I just tucked that pompous grass right into that foam. And you can keep going, you can add as much or as little or you don't even have to add it at all. But look at how autumn this looks. Um, all of this material, the yard, I, this was a yard sale container, so I paid $2 for it. $2.50 for the rocks and the moss in the bottom. This is a piece of foam that I had here at the shop. So I probably don't have, um, I probably don't have $8 in this entire arrangement. It is because I went and harvested dried materials out of the yard. So I want you to do that. I want you to think about things that you can pick up out of the yard or you could you could pick up acorns and dried um any dried materials um in the fall in the autumn you can go and get some pretty colorful leaves and tuck those in but i think this is really a fun arrangement just something very different with with gathered gathered materials okay so there's that one that was a little long Ellen says, darn it, they're cute. <laughs> <laughs> I know, aren't they fun? I don't know where they might have come from. And I think she's probably had them for a long period of time. But aren't they fun? Isn't that kind of a fun autumn type arrangement? Okay, so there's that one. Now let me show you the next one. The next one's my most, I'm excited the most about the second one. I'm going to set this one down and I'll put them back up together in just a moment. Okay. So, for the next one, we are going to use some beautiful sunflowers that came from a local grower in the county next to us. Um, they brought us some beautiful, beautiful sunflowers. So, I have this container, and I made sure it had a pretty good base. It was going to stand up pretty good. I'm going to take a glass cylinder vase. Um, I think this is an eight and a half inch cylinder. 
I had hoped to use a tall cylinder to go all the way in. My tall cylinders that were as tall as this container, this container narrows at the bottom and so my cylinders wouldn't go all the way to the bottom. So I had to use a short cylinder. Let me show you what I'm gonna do to give it weight. I'm gonna take some of these little rocks that I picked up, I think they came from Lowe's. I picked them up, I don't even remember, it's been years and years. And I bought them, we were doing some dish gardens, and so I bought them for that. But this is going to give us some weight in this container, and I have added water for my sunflowers. Okay, so I just poured us some little stones down in the bottom, and what it's going to do is help us weight this container. It's important that it's weighted because, and I I splashed my glasses with the water. Um, it's important that it's weighted because my sunflowers are top heavy. So I'm gonna take that and I am going to drop that right down deep into that container. And I'm gonna take my Lazy Susan off the table because it's willing to rock and roll. Okay. So I'm trying to get that vase down as far as it'll go. Okay, so it's weighted pretty good. Next, what we're going to do we are going to come in with some branches, but you know what I didn't get, Victoria, is I didn't get any seeded eucalyptus. So let me run in there and grab a handful of seeded eucalyptus because I think I'm going to like that, and then I might not. So we, I'd like to have it just in case. Um, I see there's a few questions. I'll ask her those when she comes back. Um, but let's see. Hello, Miss Karen Tubbs. We're so glad you're here. Miss Ella, hello. Miss Marianne. Leah Brown, thank you. Welcome. Okay, I got a bucket of eucalyptus. Does my mind think? I have not made this already, but I'm thinking I want some eucalyptus. Okay, so I'm going to start with some birch branches to give us some height. So I had these pretty birch branches um, we bought from a wholesaler. And I thought these would be perfect and blend really well with our container. So I'm just taking those and pushing them right down into that base. Are we going dark? Mm -hmm. Gonna make sure we don't. <laughs> it's just a short. All right, so there are our birch branches. So very, very easy to do, right? Um, and then, I can't wait until you see these sunflowers. So, Pierce and his wife, Jamie, brought us some fantastic, beautiful sunflowers out of their garden. They also brought us some zinnias. Um, but look at these sunflowers. Oh, they're so happy. And they have all of the foliage on them. So see all the foliage? I'm not going to leave every bit of the foliage, but I'm going to pull a little bit of it off. I'm going to take my floral knife. Y'all, these make me so happy. <laughs> and all I'm going to do is nestle those right down into this space. Are we going dark now? No, no. I figured it's we just would. Too short. It's just too short. You can back that table up if you want to, and that'll probably get it a wider angle. Okay, so I'm just taking these sunflowers and just tucking them right down into that vase. Now I'm leaving this fun foliage on just because why not? Um, you have several questions. Okay. Um, oh, and now it's not sure. Um, Okay, so for some reason it's not showing me all the questions. So Over I'm sorry. Up? Yes, I'm sorry that I won't ask all of them. Um, Valerie McDonald says, Monty, when drawing the hydrangeas, how do you do it and how do you hold the color ones or do they only turn brown? Okay, we'll have to do some research because I'm going to be real honest. I have never dried them on my own. Those hydrangeas were left on the bushes and I saw them and I went and cut them. So they were dried right on the bush. Um, so I have never really dried hydrangeas before. 
So I'm not exactly sure. But I can do some research and I can tell you how to do it. Most of the time, I have had friends who dried hydrangeas and they um, brought them in and just left them in water. And just left them in just a little bit of water, not tons of water. And um, they dried in a vase, in a vase of water just sitting on their, on their table. Um, and those are the stems that you would cut out of the yard, not necessarily the stems that you would get at a flower shop. Oh, I love these sunflowers with the foliage left on them. Um, Graham Newell says, managed to catch you while you are still going live. Is this arrangement for a special occasion? No, Graham, these are some fun containers that I picked up at a yard sale, and I thought we have to use them, and Actually, um, I had them, I brought, they've been in riding in my vehicle for quite a while, and I brought them in, and Callie says, we need to use these <laughs> in the live, so that's why we're using these containers today. So these are just for fun arrangements, but we also got these fantastic sunflowers from a neighboring farm, um, a, a neighboring county they grow, Pierce and Jamie grow these beautiful sunflowers. And so I thought let's use their pretty blooms in our fun containers today. Um, Miss Lenise says I have dried them hanging upside down. And they stayed firm, did they stay, they did not um, wilt. So they stayed the full pretty flower. Um, Miss Marianne says these sunflowers have a beautiful shade of yellow. Aren't they? They're just so sweet and soft. It's just real soft color. Allison says this is looking so awesome. Isn't that fun? That's so fun. Okay, let's put another, if I have another short one. Miss um, Doris asks, can Monty please show us how she cuts flowers with her knife close up? I can do that. I can. Okay, this one is... I will do that in just a second for you. I'll be happy to. Well, you had several questions that I can't it get won't to. let you get to them. Yeah. Um, I wonder why. Go out and come back in, and it might let you get to those questions. Okay, so there's our sunflowers. Let's add a little bit of this seeded eucalyptus around the edge of this container. So I'm going to actually take it and run that eucalyptus kind of down in the side of that vase instead of along the edge. Sweet little sunflower. Actually, maybe a nice thing that that vase is low so that you can tuck them in a little lower. So you can see I'm just kind of playing with it. Again, I have never used these containers before, but they are really, really fun to use. Yeah, it's not letting me see. That's so weird. So if you've asked a question, I'm going to come back and I'll answer those questions for you. Okay. So there is our eucalyptus, and we can still go around with a little more. That's so cute. I love this container. Did it go dark? Okay, so there are our sunflowers. Oh, that's such a pretty, con a pretty arrangement. I'm very pleased with that. Okay, so there's our sunflowers. And then, I'm going to pull our topiary. 
let me show you really quickly how I use a floral knife and cut a stem. Miss um, Rona on YouTube says, I made it late. Hi, girl. Hello, friend. Thank you for being here with us. Okay, so what I like to do with my knife, was that on Facebook, the um, cutting with the knife, or was that on YouTube? It was on Facebook. I'm holding that stem. You see the stem is between my thumb and my forefinger. I'm holding that with my thumb. I'm pulling the stem with my left hand. This is my right hand holding the knife. So I'm holding that stem and pull. Hold that stem, pull. Hold that stem, pull. So it's not necessarily I'm cutting with my right hand. I'm holding it with my, my thumb, holding that stem pretty, pretty level, and I'm pulling with my left hand. Does that make sense? I'll do that on a quick, um, I'll do that on a reel for you too, so that it's, um, it's a little bit more up close and I'll show you how that works. Okay, so there's our fun sunflowers in our pretty neat container. And then here is the topiary with the dried materials. Now, and my, and my pebbles are falling out. Now we could absolutely take a little bit of this pompous grass and stick it out the top. So if we wanted these two to go on a um, buffet together, we can take our pompous plumes and tuck those right into our sunflowers. And so everything blends really well. I could go and take, um, I, you can't see me, but I could go and cut some more hydrangea blooms and tuck those around the base of the sunflowers and that would look pretty in autumn, you know, very fall looking for these containers too. But I love them. What do y'all think? Do y'all like them? Um, Anita Green says, interesting. I barely made it. Love the sunflower. <laughs> Isn't that fun? It's very different. But it's always neat to work with different containers and to try to figure out different ways to design um, different containers. But I thought that it was neat to show you how to do something low with all um, gathered materials and then to do something a little taller and showier. I just thought that it was kind of a fun, different way to, to design one type of container. Uh, Miss Marianne asks, do sunflowers last very long? Sunflowers will. They'll last for a good while. Um, I mean, if they're well taken care of, they'll last for over a week. So that means you would cut the stems and add them to fresh water every other day and they'll certainly last longer for you. Um, Kyle Fletcher says we need a flowers by the bunch party. <laughs> we do, Kyle Fletcher. That would be fun. Uh, Miss Ella says looks stunning, stunning against the wooden background. And that kind of, they're kind of neat. I love these sunflowers though. Those sunflowers make me so happy. And they're so pretty and so, I love their color. They're not so um, golden. They're more of a soft yellow. Miss Marianne says, on my iPhone, those sunflowers almost look a lemony color. So yes, pretty. kind of a lemon color, they are. They're not as golden as the ones that we, um, that we, we buy in from our, from Budsy. They're not as, um, they're really a deep yellow. And then they also have these beautiful um, bronze ones. Look at these. How pretty that bronze is. That works really well with those hydrangeas, doesn't it? So pretty. Um, Rona says, love the container. I have to go and watch from the start. Sunflowers make me smile. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so glad you're here, friend. Uh, Dawn Miller says, both arrangements are gorgeous for fall. Just something so different, right, Miss Dawn? I just thought it would be a neat way to um, design something different. I wonder how you could do this with something faux for a for like your buffet or um or even your mantle wouldn't this be pretty for a mantle piece yep. very autumn very pretty they like it they're saying it's pretty guys thank you thank you for being here thank you so much um and i will be sure to do a reel for you on how to cut those stems so that you can see up close exactly how i use that floral knife um I'll do that tomorrow for you, and I'll post it tomorrow so that you'll have that. Guys, thank y'all for being here with me. If you have any questions about how we do things, 
you know. Don't hesitate to ask. We're so happy to answer any questions. Um, if you have any suggestions for anything you'd like to see us design, we'd love those suggestions. We're so happy to have something new to do. Um, and over on Facebook, if you'd do me a great big favor and you'd sprinkle this video, I would appreciate that so very much. And if you have not checked us out over on YouTube, do that. Run over there, subscribe to our channel, Flowers by the Bunch on YouTube. And we have new videos there, what, three to four times a week. Um, and you over here on YouTube, check us out on Facebook. We go live every single day on Facebook. Guys, y'all have a wonderful evening, and I...